Okay, yard fanatics, look, it is end of February and guys are asking me, BYD, when should I start scalping my Bermuda lawn? Well, there's two ways to go about that. You cut it down some or you scalp it right off the top. BYD is going to tell you exactly what to do. So stay tuned. You're watching Bermuda Grad Central changing the world one yard at a time okay guys byd back again now like i said i i don't know which video came out first but we we took care of that ryegrass so maybe it's the ryegrass video you've seen first or maybe it's the how to when to scalp your lawn how to scalp your lawn all that video all right so let's go ahead and start on this when to scalp your bermuda lawn guys I gotta get in hey, front of the camera. Fanatics. Like I said, my videos are filmed live, so here we go. But listen, one of you guys are trying to figure out when to cut it, how to cut it, all that. Theoretically, the, the, the best time to scalp your lawn is when 40 to 60% of it has greened up, all right? And you're gonna get debates about it regardless. Some people say, you know, do it as soon as possible. Some people say, wait till the last minute. One thing I can tell you, that Bermuda grass can take a lot. So it's, it's, it's not, I'm, it's not going to really hurt it to do it ahead of time. It's not going to really hurt it to wait to the last minute. But you want to know how to do it, all right? Guys, you need to get that Bermuda grass down to one inch. Now, that is not scalp height. One inch is just the, the bare minimum height that I would have it at so you don't have to worry about a lot of stuff. Now, if you scalp it, it's ways to do that. You could cut down, take a half an inch or even an inch off every other week until you get it down to the cutting height that you want. Because with these temperatures starting to rise, rise up, that grass, dead grass will break down. And guys, that's actually another way to, to get 100% organic fertilizer. That stuff will break down. Um, that's generally anything over half an inch that's not breaking down that's not I, I take that back anything over an inch that's not breaking down is going to cause a problem but with heat um and if you hadn't had a thatch issue in the past you shouldn't have an issue with just going ahead cutting that dead grass you see it back there that dead grass working it working it down before green up and that's the way byd does it now i've scalped my yard in the past but lately i keep it at one inch because it's just it's a lot of work when you scalp your lawn because you're scalping it all the way down to the to the white meat the dirt um you may pull up some roots expose some roots if you scalp it too far in advance and we have a hard freeze you can have root damage um if you scalp it and you hadn't put down prim and you got all these seeds and stuff um, excuse me uh, weeds growing with a lot of seeds you open it up or introduce more weeds into the soil so what BYD is going to, I'm going to show you a couple of methods that you need to do. I'm not sitting in the office. I'm out here in the field and we'll go ahead and show you how to scalp that lawn. Okay, you are for now. So look, before I start, let me tell you what's going on. This more, we dropped it all the way down as low as it can cut right now. And as low as it can cut really is right at an inch. All right. The big boy, we dropped it down two notches. And actually, the reason I'm telling you this is because... This Bermuda grass right here is my hybrid. And it's actually a little bit, almost at three inches. I'm still following the one third rule. One third means if it's three inches, I need to take one inch off. That'll leave me with two inches. In a couple of weeks, I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna cut that down to one inch. All right. This grass back here is roughly at two inches. This more cuts down to one. I'm gonna take it down to one inch. But guys, this is this is where it get interesting at. This is where it gets interesting at. We're gonna scalp this baby with the real mower. Now the real mower will take it down to the white wheat. Less than an inch. And look, I did this little spot right here. And BYD Jr. just shook his head because he hates this lawnmower. Look, this is this is less than this. Le <laughs> it's like it ain't even half an inch. So we're gonna scalp this part 
back here with this fist guards real more. Now that's gonna be that's gonna be something to see. Guys, please stay to the end of this video. Don't click away. Stay to the end of this video because I, BYD may be the first idiot, I mean the first person to scalp his Bermuda lawn with a real more, not a gas pot real more, but the fist scars. And you remember I was dogging this fist scars out. Ah, it doesn't give you a good cut. But listen, <laughs> it's cutting way lower. And this is optimum scalp height right here. I'm not taking it all the way down to the dirt, but dang near. All right, so let's let's go ahead and start, man. I, I'm, yeah, I can't so what I'm gonna start. do, I'm gonna let BYD Jr. take the 22 inch um, snapper all wheel drive um, lawnmower and I'm gonna let him go ahead and cut that down. Then I'll come back with the big boy 36 inch X mark and I'm gonna cut two inches off the hybrid part of my lawn. BYD Jr. is gonna cut the common Bermuda part. That's the part that BYD planted himself down to one inch. Remember, it's late February, it's, it's dormant. Um, I'm not getting any green up. The green up you see in this lawn is, is weeds, man. I mean, it's a bit of crest and poanna, and I'm, I'm poanna, and I'm gonna handle those later, but I'm, I'm listening. I, I, we for the scout, man. We for the scout. BYD Jr. is like I said, he's gonna cut down there and back, back forward. And we're just gonna see what it looks like. Um, cut down to the lowest point with this lawnmower. Remember, my common Bermuda is at two inches. I mean, you can even see why well, I just pushed a little bit, man. And this it's less than half an inch right there. I'm amazed at that. But let's go ahead and get started. All right, now he's getting some. Uh, some resistance from the moor, but that's that's okay. That's okay. And like I said, this Bermuda grass, dead Bermuda grass, it's gonna break down uh, before actually or doing greener. We don't have a, a real issue. Well, let's not take that back. I don't have an issue with thatch. And um, BYD doing is telling me to move his favorite lawnmower out of the way, so I'll pull that out of the way. But yeah. Go ahead and cut it. Alright, and it's the same way before. It's kind of overlapping a little bit to catch that dead grass so we can get a clean cut. And guys, remember this side of my lawn, we did treat it with a weed um, control product and it's killing the weeds off. This side, we didn't do anything and we still got weeds over here. Alright, we're going to treat those later. I like to leave stuff so we can just test, man, test. You know, give you guys better options, more options, all right? So if you can see, you can see the line already. You can see it. You see it? All right, guys, the same time, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and set this up, tripod up, and um, BYD is, you can see him. I hope you can. He's still cutting it. All right, and I'm gonna cut the hybrid part down to two inches and um we'll see what it looks like after i get through so let me go ahead and cut that down now and it'll be time lapsed side he's on the hybrid side and this this is when it's really starting to try to choke that more out you can hear it it's bogging down listen to it hear it so i gotta jack it up listen to that grass come on come on cut it out As you can see, <clears throat> it's a freaking du dust storm when you do it the way that we did. Now, guys, like I said, there's two ways to do it. We use the mulch method. You can also get a bagger and bag up your clippings. But regardless of which way you're doing it, if you're doing it now, it's still going to be a freaking dust storm. Now, you'll okay, see companies some out there cutting grass right now. And, and, and if it's Bermuda grass, guys, that's what they're doing. They're trying to get it down before the greenup 
actually happens because here's what happens if your grass bermuda grass dormant bermuda grass is still high doing green up it's going to take longer for it to green up because the two main factors you need to green your lawn up is heat from the sun and you need sunlight from the sun once that sunlight hit the roots of your bermuda grass that's actually what's activating your green up people scout because you want the sun to get closer to the ground so you can green up a whole lot faster if you don't scalp it, there's nothing wrong with that. You, you do not have to scalp your Bermuda lawn or cut it down unless you got that mud freaking four, five, six inches tall. I did a video about cutting heights. Bermuda grass is not supposed to be that tall, guys. So if you got it like three inches and you just want to wait for it to naturally green up, you can. But the guys who scalp in advance, they, they get a quicker green up. That's why people scalp the Bermuda lawns, all right? Now, what we're about to do, and BYD Jr. Goes, he's going to hate it, but we're going to take this fish scars, and we're going to try to cut it down to the lowest point, the white meat, the, all the way to the bottom, lowest the fish scars can go. So let's let's go ahead and, and do that. I want to show you this. Like I said, this is the hybrid right here. And you can, like I said, if you don't have a tape measure, use your fingers. Each digit is basically an inch. I'm going to stick that in now. So now this Bermuda grass, hybrid Bermuda grass, is right, oh, I'm using the wrong finger. It's right at two inches. All right. So let's go over here to the part BYD cut with that lawnmower, which is right in here. And guys, we're getting roughly about an inch by an inch now for the moment of truth all right go ahead and you go ahead and start we're going to try to cut this all the way down as low as we can let's start let's start at the end point now let me go ahead and tell you a few things that's probably going to hang it up when it runs over that it'll probably keep getting hung up when it gets in that blade um, and then it sticks because we're, we're taking it all the way down i should have actually took the board Matter of fact, let me blow this before we actually Look, I'm gonna go ahead and blow this area right here. And like I said, we want to get all these little rocks and sticks and twigs and them little sticky balls or whatever. So just blow them out the way so we can get a better cut. This part, we're, taking, we're cutting it at its lowest point. Alright, so let me blow this. Okay, yard fanatics, like I said, if anybody know what they Heck, these are just go ahead and see it. I call them sticky balls, man. I don't know what they are, but they, you know, everybody got them, I guess. So, comment down below if you get these in your lawn. Let everybody know. So, I get them too, BYD. All right, look, I'm gonna go ahead and <laughs> here we go, y'all. Here we go, guys. Go ahead. I'm gonna follow you, BYD, and he's struggling already. Yeah, get over those sticky balls. There you go. Put it back. Uh-huh. Yeah, keep going. Pull it back. As you can see guys, we haven't we having fun. All right, so BYD Junior, he ain't got the, the, the ass to do it, so let, let, let Big Daddy try it. Here you go. Oh yeah, man. Yeah, okay. Make sure it's uh all right, here we go, y'all. I'm gonna be real with you. This this ain't fun at all, but <laughs> I said I was gonna do it. I, it's not fun. Look, I gotta kind of mow it a couple of times. When it's, it's clogging up like that, come closer. When it's come up here. When it's piling up like that, it's, it's like I'm double working. Like but you wanna know if you can scalp the lawn? Yeah. Now this scalping is not down to the white meat where the dirt is showing, but I'm I'm taking this thing. Look, it's actually hit some of the dirt, but I mean, it's not with the guys who come with the super big moors and pulling up roots and taking it all the way down. But <clears throat> it's just something different. Uh oh. Now I got 
That way, I'm gonna go back over what I just cut. <laughs> oh, I see why you hated me, why did you? honest with you. You can do this with this fist cars. But it's it's some work, man. So zoom in on that lawn over there. I'd rather do it with that. But if we're trying to get it as low as we can go without hiring a big company and you have one of these, you have a small yard um, and it's on a flat surface, <clears throat> then yeah, you could do it with the fist cars. All right, so let me go back the other way. And uh, matter of fact, I'll just show you the end of it because I, I it'll be here recording all day. Look, I went ahead and scalped that down with this uh, fist cars, and I'm just gonna be real with you. That 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 was not fun. Now we're looking at this. That's less than half an inch. I, I want to say 0.3 of an inch to the to the ground. This part right in here, <clears throat> where you see a lot of that poana, that's right at one inch. And remember, we cut that down from three inches down to two inches on the hybrid Bermuda part. So yard fanatics, look, when you get that question, when, when should I scalp my yard? You know, it's a hundred answers for that. And from a commercial standpoint, most of these guys um, with these businesses, they're, you're seeing them cutting this Bermuda lawn right now. And I know some people are like, hey, that grass is brown. What are they doing? They're just trying to get that grass down, guys. Trying to cut it down some so you, you'll get a, 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 a good green up. For the homeowner, if you could scalp or cut it down some with a bagger, that's fine. I'm using the mulching technique. I don't bag anything because that's just a waste of time. And it, it just takes longer when you bag it up like that. But you could bag it up. If your Bermuda lawn is high, go ahead and work it down because come mid-March, um, and but, and understand this, it's different from everywhere, but most of your Bermuda grass here in Georgia will start to green up around mid-May. You'll get it January, February, March, excuse me. Um, you'll get some in April to start to green up. Um, some people are, are greening up in March, but around May is when you get that real full green up. And I know people are looking, Bermuda grass really doesn't stay green that long versus a fescue one. But when it's green, it's green, all right? So you got that March, what you got, people? You got May, June, July, August, September. Five, six months where you really get that green Bermuda grass. So yeah, guys, go ahead and start working that Bermuda grass down. Right now, as we speak, we're at the end of February. And like I said, you can work it down at an inch of time, or you can do like BYD and get you a real more scalping and work yourself to death, all right? 
So guys, just remember one thing. You are tuning into Bermuda Grass Central with BYD. This is Michael Bowman, and I'll talk to you soon.